ஆலோசிந்த பார்லிமெண்ட் வேக்கறப்பு காதாவே in my speech in parliament on the 15th of november i proposed to all political parties that we agree among ourselves to hold a general election to enable the people to exercise their sovereign right to elect a government of their choice jvp agreed but the united national party has been evasively saying that we should hold a presidential election instead of a general election the problem is is in parliament hence there is no need to hold a presidential election at this stage some people ask me why i accepted office when there was less than 18 months to go for the next election i have heard members of the unp saying that if i had been patient for another 18 months i could have won the ensuing election with a two thirds majority the president explained in his address to the nation that he appointed me as prime minister only after things reached a stage where he had absolutely no other option when the government is entrusted to me in such circumstances i cannot in all fairness shun the responsibility we managed to find the money to fight the war we did not allow the people to feel the effects of the 2007 world food crisis within a period of 9 years my government increased the us dollar per capita income of the country threefold the average economic growth rate during those years was 7.4% the exchange rate was 131 rupees to the dollar the debt to gdp ratio was 70% On the 9th of January in 2015 we handed over to the new UNP government an economically stable country. I made it a point to inform the people from time to time in writing of the foreign currency loans that the UNP government was taking through various sources such as Sri Lanka development bonds, sovereign bonds, syndicated loans, currency swaps etc. But I knew that once we were back in power this debt burden would be the biggest problem that we would have to face. Due to this debt burden it would take a while to turn things around. the president and the people of this country know that only we can extricate this country from the crisis it is in the government that we will form together with the president will be a powerful and people oriented government the cabinet spokesperson of the previous government had publicly stated on numerous occasions that in 2015 the people had not voted for a change of government due to any lack of food or clothing he said that the people voted for a change in 2015 for the sake of democracy but after that change of government the people ended up without democracy without the right to vote and without food and clothing as well let us all join hands to defeat the forces that seek to destroy this country like we did during the war this is the last opportunity we have if our efforts fail the country will end up like greece